Hey guys, this is Anjali from Dodge Strategy and today we are going to audit LinkedIn profile of Christine. We are doing this LinkedIn profile audit as a part of the launch sequence of my course, The Game of LinkedIn. That is the only thing, only thing you would ever need to help you grow your business with LinkedIn because it would, it is not just something that, uh, you know, ends uh, with just giving you an ace profile. It start actually you know the profile and stuff like that is only the preparation the real game starts when you align LinkedIn with your business goals and with actionable plans and swipe files everything that's a part of it more on the course and the stuff later I tend to flow away from the topic when I talk about my products yes I am thrilled and that's a good thing right Okay, so Christine's profile. So Christine has claimed a custom URL that says her name. So that's a great thing. Um, headshot is great. There could be some tweaks that could be made on the background photograph. Uh, A with colors. You can use the same colors because I assume these are your brand colors. Uh, okay, or just let me have a look at your website. So even if they are your brand colors, you can uh, you know brighten them up. A bit so that uh, you know they don't uh, take a back seat on the profile but okay so you know, the, the website that you have mentioned here uh, isn't working so I would recommend you to update it right um, as for the headline and also in the background there are some alignment issues so apart from the design stuff the content is great okay you have written, I help you create a lifestyle and habit, habits that support, heal, nourish your mind, body and soul. So that's a great thing to write. So just, uh, you know, use some design elements to put it out in a clean, neat way and uh, your background would be rocking. In your headline where you write health and wellness coach, blogger at wellness from nature, I would, uh, you know, encourage you to insert your client okay or your dream client health and wellness coach for okay and insert the people you want to work for okay for busy entrepreneurs or busy professionals or for you know xyz people you know who your ideal prospect is and if you do have if you can weave around uh, a usb okay something that only you bring on the table and why they should hire you and not other coaches okay. so then you would have a great headline as for the summary uh, you know summary is a combination of your uh, about us page and a brief about your services and your contact us page okay and you know or actually why work with me page all right so yeah, it, it, it needs to have proper elements from all these things. So I would encourage you to write a storyline, you know, write a summary wherein you, and the anatomy of that could be something like wherein you address the people you work for, identify the pain points, okay? tell them how you solve it, why you are the best person, how your life makes, you know, brings you where you are, and then what action you want them to take after they have read your summary. So do you want them to read a blog you have written? Do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to connect with you on LinkedIn? Or uh, do you want them to see a video uh, that you have uh, shot for them, you know, welcoming video or anything? Okay, and you can link it in the media section and it would appear here. It won't appear as ugly as these ones. We recently changed, uh, made some changes in the website and uh, you know, because I was busy with this LinkedIn audit since, uh, you know, launching my course, I didn't have time to even tell my developer that this is screwed. So, yeah, that that's bad of me. Nothing, nothing that he could do with, uh, you know, nothing much that he could help with if I don't inform him about it. Right. So, your activities. So, I had a look at the activities that you do. So, it's great that you are active on LinkedIn. Though in the uh, in the complete course we talk about what exactly kind of content would be great for you to nourish your leads and to attract new prospects, so that is something uh, you can give a thought on. So otherwise, your activities are doing good. 
as for your experience you have uh, written a very nice brief of your experience okay and uh, that that's great uh, that's perfect actually another thing if you can add here is you know just a small line up below these paragraphs is how these x uh, you know the, these past experiences help you in doing what you are doing today okay. same is with education if you can write how how these how your education helps you in what you are doing today so it can be a timeline kind of a thing that starts from your education and goes to your first job your second uh, gig and your third one your featured skills all right uh, you know your current feature skills are web development seo and social media which do not align with your heading because it says your health and wellness coach so what does a health and wellness coach has to do with these skills okay so somewhere these are missing with your current profile all right so identify those skills that you would like to be ranked and endorsed for and be known for for your current business and then work upon getting endorsements on it so those would appear uh, as the top 3 do remember that these are the skills that are often used by um, you know people who search for professionals okay so right now it's web developments so like web developers for you know we we use these keywords we often use on linkedin skills are the keywords most of the time and uh, so yeah uh, you you do have recommendations three received two given that's that's a nice balance and you can i would encourage you to add because this was received in 2016 now for the level of like yeah mm, no uh these dates are from where you worked in that profile so you know keep on adding new recommendations that would be a great thing a accomplishments are great two courses two languages assets for project certification that's great um interests are cool yeah so yeah health and wellness coach is a keyword that you have used in a headline so that that's clever let me just go back and see if there is anything that i have missed in other thing your profile yeah i haven't covered these two things okay like uh, google your profile on uh, by your name and uh, google it by your skills or what you are as a professional okay like for me it is as a strategist because so if it is coming up or not because uh, you know your field better than anyone else and um, background photo profile photo headline summary that's covered linkedin import media i have a link important media that i have told you about awards and recognitions i don't think they were there so if you have any awards and recognitions that you would like to mention okay from your um, it could also be your customer testimonials okay so you know uh, customer testimonials are definitely not awards but you can uh, present it in form of an achievement okay in form of a recognition that your client gave to your work to your loyalty or something like that you have claimed your custom url so we are sorted with that education section we have covered contact information so do uh, you know check your public profile settings and see what contact information you have uh, you know you want people to easily know i think email should be a basic contact information that we should allow people to view here okay phone numbers are quite personal so not that one if you have an office phone you can definitely share it but if you are comfortable sharing your email address it should go here let me see if anybody else is raised three experiences projects that you have covered skills i briefed you about it recommendations are cool volunteer yeah i keep on forgetting this uh, thing so you know uh, because you are not working as a part of a company where other people will get you work and you only have to execute it okay in your industry as you are an entrepreneur you need to get clients on board as well 
And in that journey, the causes that we volunteer for, you know, are, you know, really takes the conversation to a different level. It establishes a different kind of connection, trust that, okay, you know, if you and the prospect that you're talking to are passionate about the same topic, okay, like um, helping peoples in flood or uh, topics of education or child labor, anything, okay, so if you do have any such things, that you are really passionate about and volunteer for, then do add there because that would really help you take your conversations with your prospects to a next level because it warms them up, okay, and introduces you from yet another person on LinkedIn who is who wants my business to, oh wow, this person is worth working with, okay, so that's the impact uh, common volunteering can make it has worked for me and for many others okay so yeah that's your linkedin audit and uh, i would encourage you to go uh, in the linkedin group uh, sorry the, the not just strategy group on facebook and watch the print post because as i say that profile is only level one of the game of linkedin if you really want your linkedin profile to help you in reaching your business goals, there are so many levels to live by, okay? And it is a continuous thing. So to know what next and how you would want to use your profile, do go and watch the video that I have pinned for now in the group, in the Facebook group of Not Just Strategy. So yeah, that's all for it now. Hope you enjoyed your LinkedIn audit. Do uh, implement the changes that I've suggested. If you have any questions or want any input from me, do reach out to me on the group. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya.